Chemistry lecture number 79, molality. One way to measure the concentration of a solution is to use molality. Uh, molality describes the moles of solute added to kilograms of solvent, usually water. For example, if I add 320 grams of copper sulfate, or two moles of copper sulfate, to one kilogram of water, I would have a two molal copper sulfate solution. So here's a picture of that. If I take 320 grams of uh, copper sulfate, which is a blue crystal, and 320 grams of copper sulfate is the same as two moles of copper sulfate, and I take these two moles of copper sulfate crystal and dump it into one kilogram of water, um, I'll end up with a, a two molal solution. So unlike molarity, um, molality is moles per kilogram of solvent. Okay, and mathematically, molality is expressed as moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And a little cursive M is the uh, sort of the symbol for uh, molality. This little cursive M means moles per kilogram of solvent. And uh, just to keep things simple, we'll assume that water will be the solvent in all the problems that we do. So it is possible to have uh, molality solutions with different types of solvents, but uh, just to keep it simple, water is gonna be the solvent for all of our problems. All right, so let's try a problem. Uh, if 52 grams of, I'm sorry, if 52 grams of K2CO3 are dissolved in 518 grams of H2O, what is the molality? All right, so here's how we solve it. Uh, molality is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, but we've been given grams of solute per gram of solvent or water. So what we need to do is we need to convert the grams of solute into moles of solute, and then we need to convert grams of water into kilograms of water. To make the conversions, we'll need to use the following quantities. Uh, we need to know that one mole of uh, uh, potassium carbonate is 138 grams, and 1,000 grams of water is the same as a kilogram of water. So <clears throat> we now uh, use the factor label method to convert grams of solute per grams of water into moles of solute per kilogram of water. Okay, so here are the equalities we're gonna use to make the conversions. One mole of uh, potassium carbonate is 138 grams, and 1,000 grams of water is the same as a kilogram of water. Okay, so here's what they give us. They told us that we have 52 grams of potassium carbonate dissolved in 518 grams of water. <coughs> For molality, we need moles of K2CO3 per kilogram of water. So let's start the conversion. We have grams of K2CO3 on top, I want to get rid of it, so I need grams of K2CO3 on the bottom. So I'm going to take 138 grams of K2CO3, put that on the bottom, and that's equivalent to one mole of K2CO3. So in doing that, that converts grams of K2CO3 into moles of K2CO3. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to take these grams of water and convert it into kilograms of water. Well, I've got grams of water on the bottom. I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put 1,000 grams of water on top and a kilogram of water on the bottom because 1,000 grams of water is equal to one kilogram of water. All right, so done this way, grams of water will be converted into kilograms of water. So let's cancel the terms. Grams of K2CO3 cancel leaving us with moles of K2CO3, and then grams of water cancel, leaving us with kilograms of water. So 52 times 1,000 divided by the product of these two numbers, <clears throat> that's gonna give us 0 0.727 moles of K2CO3 per kilogram of water. Instead of writing moles K2CO3 per kilogram of water, we just write molal K2CO3, or instead of writing molal, we'll just use the small letter M. So this small little M means moles per kilogram of water, okay? For the next problem, we'll calculate the grams of solute needed to make a solution with a specific molality. What mass of NaCl must be added to 800 grams of water to make a 0.75 molal solution? Now in this problem we're given <coughs> excuse me, grams of water 
right here, 800 grams of water. And we're given the concentration, 0.75 molal. And we're going to use these to convert grams of water into kilograms of water. Then we'll convert uh, kilograms of water into moles of solute, or uh, NaCl. And then finally, we'll convert moles of NaCl into grams of NaCl. So to start to convert grams of water into kilograms, we'll use 1,000 grams of water equals 1 kilogram of water. The 0.75 molal means that one kilogram of water will contain 0.75 moles of solute. So <clears throat> to convert the kilograms of water into moles of solute, we'll use one kilogram of H2O equals 0.75 moles of NaCl. And to convert moles of NaCl to grams, we'll use one mole of NaCl is 58.5 grams. All right, so <clears throat> the overview of how we're gonna do this is they gave us grams of water we're going to convert, uh, and we want to know how many grams of NaCl are dissolved in the water. So we're going to convert the grams of water they give us into kilograms of water. We'll convert kilograms of water into moles of uh, NaCl, and then convert moles of NaCl into grams of NaCl. To do those conversions, we'll use these three equalities. 1,000 grams of water is a kilogram of water. One kilogram of water contains 0.75 moles of NaCl. One mole NaCl is 58.5 grams. NaCl. All right, so <clears throat> here's how we'll start. We're given 800 grams of water, and we'll put that over one. We're going to go from grams of water to kilograms of water. Well, I got grams of water on top, I want to get rid of it. So I'm going to put a thousand grams of water on the bottom and a kilogram of water on top because a thousand grams of water equals a kilogram of water. So that's the first step. We've converted grams of water into kilograms of water. Now we want to go from kilograms of water into moles of uh, NaCl. I got kilograms of H2O on top. I want to get rid of it. So I need to put kilograms of H2O on the bottom. So <clears throat> if I put kilogram of H2O on the bottom, I can put 0.75 moles of NaCl on top. Because when it says 0.75 molal, it means that a kilogram of water contains 0.75 moles of NaCl. All right. So that's the this step here, we've gone from kilograms of water into moles of NaCl. Now we want to go from moles of NaCl to grams of NaCl. I've got um, moles of NaCl on top. I want to get rid of it. So I need moles of NaCl on the bottom. And I'm going to put 58.5 grams of NaCl on top because one mole of NaCl equals 58.5 grams of NaCl. All right. so. And that's the final step. We've converted moles of NaCl into grams of NaCl. So, set up this way. Grams of H2O cancel. Um, kilograms of H2O cancel. Moles of NaCl cancel. And we're left with grams of uh, NaCl. So, 800 times 0.75 times 58.5 divided by 1,000 is going to give me 35.1 grams of NaCl. So what this answer means is that um, if you have 800 grams of this solution and the solution is at that strength, there's going to be 35.1 grams of NaCl dissolved inside of it. For a PDF transcript of this lecture, go to www.richardlouis.com. This has been chemistry lecture number 79, Molality.